thanks for hanging out with us today. Tomorrow we'll have our newest fan of the week announcement brought to you by the Volo Museum. If you win, you get to go to the Volo Museum and of course you get some GDS swag. Oh, one more thing before we go, Tamanique is back tonight with one of our favorite parts of the week. Uh, what's <laughs> buzzing this yes. week? So I feel like you would like this oh, one. I hope I'm so. very <laughs> excited for this one too. So this woman on TikTok, I, they're always TikTok, but this woman on TikTok, she's a flight attendant. Okay. She went viral for making like a I want to say like a one to one and a half ish minute video about um, etiquette on like an airplane. Okay. So, but like the, I swear to you, the whole video was about people blowing their nose oh, on really? an airplane okay. and why you shouldn't blow your nose on an airplane. So, sure. this whole list. But then other people in our comments were like agreeing with her. Some of them were like, yeah, no, I'm not getting up. Basically, she said, get up to go to the bathroom to, to blow, blow your nose. nose, right? But then other people were like commenting in her comments about like things that they think you should and should not do on an airplane, okay, so I'm that's ready. where our list came from. You know I'm an airplane, I one. grew up on right, an airplane. That's what I'm saying, like yeah. you would like this one. But don't okay. pull your nose, I feel like I'm not gonna hog up the bathroom for an uh, airplane. If that is I'm so not doing situational. That. Like no, if, I'm not doing that. If you feel like you really gotta get a lot out of your nose, maybe you get up and go to the bathroom, but uh -huh. if you're sitting by the window, you and, don't want to make all uh, them move. That's a toughie. No, one that I am, I really, really, really want to get your opinion on. The middle okay. seat gets both armrests. So that, that is insane. No, that's the, um, that's the idea. Really? Like that's the thought. Yes, because you are trapped there and you can't breathe and you can't lean. What? Right? You got the window, you can lean. Yeah. So you put your whole body and on the you window. Got the outside, the you got the outside, seat. you got that like nice thing and you have the whole extra room. The middle, that is a real rule. The middle seat is supposed to get both armrests. Nah, why? I'm telling you. I've only sat in the middle seat like once or twice. It's the worst. But like, I, I'm trying to remember if they gave me the both armrests. I arm mean, rest. you should. You should give that middle seat person both armrests. I don't, I don't know about that Don't one. assume you can switch seats. Oh my gosh, did that I is, ever tell you? Whoa. Go ahead. I agree. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you go. I, well, I grew up flying standby. My dad worked for the airlines for like 40 years, so we would just get the random seats, yeah. right? And so when I was seven years old and we were going to Hawaii, my parents told me, if you can sit by yourself for 20 minutes and then we will switch seats with somebody, you can have a dog. Because I spent years crying in the aisles because my, they put me here and put my mom like all the way over I was there. like five, four. Yeah. They put me somewhere. Yeah. And then finally we fly to Hawaii. Nope, I'm just sitting next to my mom. The way back, I sit next to this lady, I go, I'm gonna get a dog. <laughs> I'm gonna get a dog. I'm gonna get a dog because I'm sitting by myself. And she goes, the minute that seatbelt sign came off, that lady was like, where's her mom? <laughs> Can I switch with her? <laughs> so yeah, don't assume. Uh, but you know, most people are pretty good with letting you switch with children. Uh, for any other purpose, it's like, hey, you bought the seat you bought. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. Yeah. I let us agree. know what you think about this. It's a great topic, <laughs> great list. Let us know on Instagram, on Facebook. You can email us too. We'll see you tomorrow night. Bye bye.